Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first proper video um, that I am filming and it is the booktube newbie tag. I thought I'd do this video just so you can get to know me a little bit um, and hopefully in the comments if people see this you can get to know me. Um, I'll just start by introducing myself. Um, so my name is Faye and I am over on Bookstagram as the Capricorn Reader, which is also what this channel is called. Yeah, I just want chill, cosy vibes for this video. So I sat down, I'm in comfy clothes. One, because I just want to be comfy and two, because it's absolutely freezing in my house. I've got a cup of peppermint tea in my cute little dog mug. But yeah, let's just get started with the questions. So the first question is why did I start this channel? Um, there's a couple of reasons. I've been watching booktube for so long and like possibly like seven or eight years um, and I've always wanted to create my own book content which is why I first started over at Instagram. Um, but I just love talking about books to people and I have a few people in my life that I can talk to books about but we don't often read the same things um, so I can't have that discussion and also I always feel like I'm boring them when I'm talking about a book that they haven't read. So if I'm just talking to a camera and essentially just myself, if anyone sees this then even better, um, but if not I'm just talking about the books that I'm loving or not loving. Um, so I've got a hair on my face, which is really annoying me. So if I keep itching my face, apologies. Um, but yeah, I've wanted to start it for so long and I've just always been a bit scared um, because this is not a natural thing for me to do. My sister is, she has a YouTube channel. She doesn't post on there anymore. Um, but she was very much the outgoing camera person, if that makes sense. And I'm just in the back. But yeah, I'm a bit scared. But I've wanted to do it for so long. And I'm currently unemployed. And my days are getting so boring um, just being by myself. So I thought now is the perfect time to just bite the bullet, start my booktube, and just gives me something to do and structure my days around. Um, I'm hoping I can do it as like a, do this video this day, or if it's a bit of a longer video project, do little bits each day, just to bring some structure back into my day because that is very much lost. Um, and I'm bored. <laughs> the second question is what is unique about your channel? This is really hard for me because there's obviously so much book content out there now, booktube and booktogram and booktalk, it's become a massive thing. Um, and there's so many wonderful creators already out there. But I think for me, what can be unique about this channel is I guess the variety of genres that I read. Um, a lot of content creators that I watch have one or two genres and that is mostly romance and fantasy. I'm not the biggest romance reader, I am starting to enjoy it a lot more, but I'm not massive on it. Fantasy, I dip my toe in every now and then, um, but I gravitate towards lit fic, normal fiction, um, I quite enjoy like classic children's fiction as you might be able to see by my shelf here. Um, yeah, I just think something unique is that there will be a variety of genres spoken about. It won't just be one or two. And as a massive mood reader, I never know what I'm going to be in the mood for. Um, so I guess you can just come along on that journey with me and hopefully you can find some new books. I can find some new books that we all love. The next question is why do I love reading? Um, I personally just love being transported and immersed into different worlds, um, which is actually quite strange considering I do love a fiction that is just a quiet fiction, 
that's a slice of life novel, just watching people. Hello, do you want to say hello? This is where my cat James um, makes his debut. Um, as you can see, he doesn't look impressed and he just stares at himself in the camera. Um, I'm doing a voiceover for this bit because the audio messed up because he was right on my mic. Um, but yeah, that's James. Uh, what was I saying? Got distracted by the cat as always. Yeah, I just love being transported into a different world and especially when it really hooks you and you don't want to come out of it and back into reality. Um, I think that's something that I really love. Um, and I also used to study English literature through GCSE and A-level. Um, and I love picking apart novels and authors' works to find out why they've chosen certain characterizations or settings or plot lines into their story to find out the why and how it affects it. Um, I don't do that that often anymore just because I read for escapism and I don't always want to be there with pens and highlighters and with my analysis brain on but it is something that I would really like to get back into this year um, just because I do love it and I love the look of an annotated book. So now on to the question of what are some of my favourite books. Um, I've chosen a few that are varied in genre and I think this just shows you like the range of genres that I read from and that I don't fit into just one as a favourite. Um, so for example, favourite books, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, my all-time favourite book ever. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, also a favourite ever. Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Um, I read this, a, I think, three years ago. Absolutely fell in love with that book. Um, a Court of Mist and Fury. This was one of the books that really gripped my heart with the characters and it holds a very special place in my heart. Um, also Regeneration by Pat Barker, I think, especially on Booktube and Bookstagram, this is a very understated, understated, underrated, not talked about enough book. Um, it is one of my absolute favourites. Again, one I studied for English Lit fell in love and also aced my exam on that book. Um, Carnival by Stephanie Garber, again another one that I just got completely immersed in and loved and I love her world building and her writing. Um, and then also Ninth House and Hellbent by Lee Bardugo, those books are the love of my life pretty much. What booktube challenge is my favourite and which will be the hardest to overcome? Um, I think the challenge I'm looking forward to is being a part of and building my own little community for books. Um, I love reading, I love buying books, I love discussing books and I can't wait to find other like-minded people um, to do this with and to just build that sense of community with people who are on the same wavelength as me. Um, and I think the challenge that's going to be the hardest to overcome is talking to the camera. As I think I mentioned before, it's not a natural thing for me to do. Um, and I really hope to come out of my shell and my personality to come out a bit more through the more videos that I make and post. Also the editing, I don't think I'm going to be very good at that, but we'll try my best. I will try my best. The next question is, when did I start reading? Um, I think properly reading, I was about 14. Because um, again, looping back to Jane Eyre, when I was studying that book and fell in love with it, that's when I started to get back into reading and actually... City of Bones was one of the first book series that I bought 
and just read through like doo -doo 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 -doo. um not too sure how i'd feel about that series rereading now but at the time it gripped me um yeah so i think 14 i know i always used to love books and try to read but my mum always said i was never sat still long enough um for me to read a book or part of a book or even to be read to um my sister all the time she would sit and be read to i'd get through like two pages and i was up and running around doing something which is funny because now all i do especially when i'm not working is sit and read where do i read um mostly on my sofa in my bed i do sometimes go out to a cafe or the library to read but i love the comfort of my own home i love putting on an ambiance um video and just sitting down getting all cozy with blankets a dressing gown a drink and just being able to get really cozy and read in my own home the penultimate question is what are my favorite genres um as said before i don't think i have a favorite um a i'm a mood reader i bounce around um genres a lot currently i'm gravitating towards fantasy and romance just because they're quick to read and a good filler in between fantasy books um but yeah i i read from a lot of genres fancy romance sci-fi i'm getting into um fiction slash literary fiction classics um graphic novels manga i have a few on my shelf although i don't actually reach for those that often um yeah i don't have a favorite it just depends on my mood a lot <laughs> and the last question is what does my book collection look like so my book collection is actually split between where I live now and my mum's house um, just because I don't have the space or the means to bring all my books to me. Um, so I will insert some pictures if I can find some of what my books at my mum's house look like and also my book collection here. This is my main bookcase behind me um, which I got at the beginning of this year and i love it so much um i do have another little one in another room that is all the questions answered um i hope it's given you a bit of an insight into the type of reader i am and what you can hope to see from me from booktube i guess um i'm definitely really glad that i filmed this video first um before like a vlog or something because i feel like it's like it marks the start of something that I can now just really get into because you know a bit more about me. Um, yeah, if you're seeing this, um, please let me know in the comments. Give it a like, subscribe if you would like. I would love it if you did. Um, and let me know what some of your favourite books are that you have read. Um, and if you've got any favourite genres, or if you're like me, you just jump around a little bit. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you stay around um, to the next video, um, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!